This video introduces the use of Venn diagrams to illustrate the relationship between categorical propositions. Before we use Venn diagrams to describe categorical propositions, let's look at the basic definition of a categorical proposition. A proposition is a statement that is either true or false. A categorical proposition is a claim about two categories or types of things. In this example, the category dolphins is being related to the category of mammals. It says that all of the dolphin category is also part of the mammal category. In the system of logic called categorical logic or classical logic, there are four standard propositional forms that are used to evaluate inferences. For convenience, I'll sometimes call them claims rather than categorical propositions. Each claim is represented by a letter. They are all SRP, an A claim, no SRP, an E claim, some SRP, an I claim, and some S are not P, an O claim. For instance, bicycles are things with two wheels. This is an example of an A claim. It says that all of the type of things called bicycles are also the type of thing that have two wheels. Each of the claims about bicycles relates the category expressed by the subject to the category of things expressed by the predicate. Venn diagrams are a way to visualize the relationship between the subject and predicate in categorical propositions. For convenience, the system has been created to use two overlapping circles for the subject and predicate regardless of the form of the proposition. Then shading and an X are used to show the relationships between the subject and predicate in claims. In this example, we'll start with a circle S representing all bicycles and a circle P representing things with two wheels. Now let's look at the Venn diagram for an A claim. In Venn diagrams, the part of the category where there are no examples is shaded. This indicates that the only bicycles there are are bicycles that are part of the P category, the category of things with two wheels. So the left side of, this, of the S circle is shaded to indicate it is empty. This is the diagram for A claims and the Venn diagram for all A claims will look exactly the same. It doesn't matter what the terms of the A claim are or whether the claim is true or false. If it has the form of an A claim, the Venn diagram will be the same as any other A claim. Notice that the A claim says something about all of the subject. In this example, it says all ducks have the characteristic indicated by the predicate, in this case, refrigerators. But it doesn't say anything about all refrigerators, just all ducks. We'll explore this property of the A claim later when we analyze how claims form arguments. Here's the Venn diagram for the E claim. Notice that the area where the two circles overlap is shaded. This indicates there aren't any examples of ducks that are also refrigerators. The only ducks there are are outside of the P category. Venn diagrams use an X to indicate some or some are not. Some in categorical logic means at least one. It doesn't matter how many examples there are. If there is at least one, it is symbolized by placing an X in the area where there is an example. In this case, the X is in the area where the two circles overlap, indicating there is at least one thing that is both a duck and green. No shading is used because shading is only used to indicate there are no examples of a category. In the Venn diagram for the O claim, the X is placed outside of the P circle and inside the S circle. This indicates that there is at least one duck that is not friendly. Like the I claim, the O claim doesn't tell us about all of either the S or P category, only about some of one category. In the O claim, it tells us about some of the predicate, because it says there is at least one thing that isn't part of it. In other words, at least one thing that isn't friendly. The usefulness of Venn diagrams goes beyond just visually illustrating the four standard claims. Venn diagrams can be used to test the validity of syllogisms. Syllogisms are arguments with three terms, two premises, and a conclusion. 
Since there are three terms, three circles are used to represent the terms in the argument. The use of Venn diagrams to test the validity of syllogisms will be the subject of another video. Thanks for watching.